376343 on behalf of Ms. Scott, who's present to my right. Okay. Is that your name, Ms. Scott? Here, Scott. Thank, Thank you. you. Judge, I was recently, I recently substituted out her previous counsel, so I'm asking for an adjournment. I received paper discovery today from Ms. I think. And I requested digital discovery from her previous attorney and from the prosecutor's office. All right. Um, I don't have a problem with turning it out. There is, and counsel, I don't know if you're aware there's a bond violation report. I am not aware, Judge. I just I think we substituted out on Monday. Uh, she's on a sober link tether. Sober link tether or sober link? Below? Well, a sober link device. I okay. call it a sober link tether. And she's missing her scheduled testing. On 2 4, she missed her test from 6 to 9, did submit a compliance test an hour and a half late. Then on February 16th, she missed her test, her 6 to 9 a.m. test, and did not do another test until 10 a.m. On March 15th, she missed her scheduled test from 9 to 12. She did submit a test nearly two and a half hours later. And Judge, uh, this is news to me just today. So, I'm, oh, that's why I read it. Yeah, told I, you. I appreciate it. Um, it's my understanding that she's taking some medicine, anti anxiety right. medicine, which makes me sleep, makes her sleep. Through, so, she'll sleep through some of the morning things just because of her medicine. So, I guess, is there another? Can we? I don't know. Can I ask for one more chance? And why don't we do this? Let me give you a copy of this to look at, go through it with your client, and I'll call it back up and then I can get a cogent argument. As I do. Okay, thank you, Judge. Court does call the case of the people versus Raphael Grabowski. Good morning, Your Honor. David I. Goldstein appearing on behalf of the defendant. And what were we intending on doing today? Well, Your Honor, I well, there's two things. One is a pretrial, and then I was also informed prior to today that there was a violation. There so is I'm, correct. I'd like to address the violation first, if that's okay with the court. That would be what I think needs to happen. Well, Your Honor, uh, Ms. Reiser and I did have an opportunity to review the uh, the violation report. I did indicate to my client that on two occasions, one in February and one in March, there was a small amount of alcohol in his system. I'm going to assume for the sake of argument that all of his other tests were, were uh, there was no positive result. Um, Your Honor, I explained it to my client. My client indicated to me that he does use, uh, on occasion, mouthwash. Uh, and on those two occasions, that's why there was a small amount of alcohol in his system. The court notes that, I believe, I don't have well, a... That, that's what he told you. Yes. And that's why you're relating that to me? That's exactly right, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor... Uh, Keep going, please. I'm sorry? Keep going. Okay. I don't have the report in front of me, but I believe both of those were in the evening. It's, it's part of his evening yeah, process. You can look at it. Because those, I did, did you? Did you? Because those are, what kind of mouthwash? Yeah. 0.021 and 0.023, is that what you're referring to, Your Honor? Yeah, but then what is more disconcerting with the excuse that your client is giving you that you are relating to the court is, is that then there is a retest. So that mouthwash was hanging around for a while. Well, Your Honor, let's see, 1132, about a half an hour on this one and it was going down and about a half an hour, well, yeah, a little bit more than half an hour on this one and it was also going down. Uh -huh. Those the same days? No, one is on the 25th. Yeah. And one's on the 22nd for February 25th and March 22nd. Yeah. So there was, there was one, the one that was like February 
Okay. You don't tell oh, me. Tell oh, me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, for sure. I get it. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. I get it. So the um the, the first one was after I know it was February it was at the football game. Um, it was what? I'm watching the NFL football game. Yeah. yeah I watched I was watching the game. Um, I went in uh, rushed and um, right away blew and it didn't register. So then I waited till uh, the required time and watched another TV show. And, and and then blew then blew a compliant test, and then the second one was um, after I waited thirty minutes after popcorn brushed, uh, rinsed my mouth again, then waited ten minutes, and then and then blew and it's worked. Your Honor, so, I, so then I waited for retest and retest was okay. Your Honor, after looking at the report again, I noticed that both tests were in the evening. I, I'm assuming since there are no other tests referenced, all the morning tests were were negative. And all the other evening tests were negative except for those two. That's all I can say at this year, time, Your Honor. I've never heard a mouthwash lingering that long, first of all. And that mouthwash, particularly as it's being described, would hang around that long to blow numbers. And I'll be honest with you, I don't believe it. Okay. At all. But if that's your story, then that's a story you're going to give me, and then I got to do what I got to do. Is that really what happened? Yeah, I, know. I, was, up, I was up late watching football, yes, with my girlfriend. I, I don't doubt that. I'm just saying, you're saying that's the reason for the alcohol. Is that what you're telling me? That's what I want to tell you. Okay, I understand what you want to tell me. No. I also, I also understand. I didn't just wake up yesterday and start doing this. So I want to make sure that that's what you want to tell me well, before I do what I have to do, there, if that's your story. No, sir, that is not. That is not what? That is not my story. Okay. I, I, so now you have lied to the court. You lied to your attorney so that they could lie to the court. So you want to tell the truth I, or not? I was my, with my girlfriend while we were watching. What did you do? Had a glass of wine, split, had a glass of wine with my girlfriend. On both of these occasions. She drinks wine. Yeah. That's what I thought happened. You actually drank. So if you did that, why'd you lie? Um, because I all the other times that was good. I haven't I haven't touched, I haven't wanted to. Oh, oh I know. That so honestly she why did you lie? Because um it, I Knew it was wrong. What? I knew it was wrong to have those glasses of wine with her. So why didn't you just admit that you had it? Um, because because see now what I have to do is I have to then release you theoretically Excuse on me? an operate. I have to release you theoretically. You're here on an OWI second. Mm -hmm. I put you on testing or monitoring system below numbers. Then you come before the court and you lie to me. What? I apologize to the court. Amen. What were we intending on doing on the case? Your Honor, uh, I did have an opportunity to discuss the matter with Ms. Reiser. We were going to ask for about a 30-day adjournment. She indicated she was not going to make an offer until my client earned earned an offer. Oh, yeah. This, this probably didn't help. Ms. Reiser knew this about this, Your Honor, before she made that comment. Yes, I'm sure she did.
guess it wouldn't be wise to adjourn this out 30 days. I'll adjourn this matter to April 17, 2021 at 9 a.m. or as your invite indicates, I will find that the defendant violated his bond conditions of no alcohol use. Um, the defendant's bond will be set at $25,000. I'll give a 10% privilege at this time on it, but defendant, if he posts that bond, cannot be released from custody without a scram tether, and it must be in place. Defendant is remanded. Calvin Lee. David I. Goldstein appearing on behalf of the defendant. Your name, sir? Calvin Lee. Thank you. Your Honor, in this matter, Mr. Siller and I have had a conversation. A lot of this case is going to turn on whether or not my client gave consent. Just so the court understands, there was a blood draw in this case. There was no warrant because the Officers claim that my client consented to the blood draw. My client says he did not. I'm assuming that there are either body cams or dash cams. I do. I believe I have them, but I have to review them with my client. And Mr. Siller indicated he had no problem with that. So if we could have two weeks, the same date as the group. As the other one. All right. I'll adjourn the matter April 17, 2024. 9 a.m. or as your invite indicates. Uh, Your Honor, there's one other issue that my client wanted me to bring to the court's attention, at least one other issue. Uh, like Your Honor, to go with your other claim? Well, I don't no, think I'm no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know. If you, I didn't know. If you, if you, you might I'm be able to persuade him. To, I'm trying to. She trying to might be able to persuade him. I'm to. trying to just keep everybody happy. <laughs> Judge, Ed, prior to my entry into the case, apparently there was a time when they claimed that Mr. Lee was not present, as a result of which it was transmitted to the Secretary of State. He failed to appear, so they suspended his license. And they put a warrant out from our arrest. Oh, that's been taken home. care of. Yeah, that part's been taken care of. They're saying he didn't appear? Yeah, there was a warrant. When he came to see me back in, I'll tell you, when he came to see me back in uh, the fall, there was a warrant. Yes. Yeah. on May 3rd. That's what. That's what I have. The court docket shows that I appeared on Zoom at 9 a.m. I did sign in Zoom that morning. They stayed in the waiting room for three, almost three hours. So I don't know if it's a question the case was called and he didn't hear it or they didn't. Well, no, I was in the waiting room. There still is a warrant. The 25 cash surety. Yeah. He he appeared, Your Honor. Uh -huh. Sir. So, did the did that warrant not get canceled? Because he's here today. Did you fill out a warrant recall? I, Your Honor, I filled out a warrant recall. You denied it. He came in and was physically arraigned. And the matter was set. Oh, well, I shouldn't say come in. He was arraigned by I think Magistrate Fink. And he. He was given this date. Actually, he was given date a couple of weeks ago. We adjourned until today. He's on the dock. So that one. No, I, I, that's what my question is. But I don't. Were you arraigned at this building? Do you know? No, I, I, I believe you. I'm just trying to figure out where you were. Okay. Um, yeah. I did a request for recall last last year, Your Honor, and it was denied. Right. I probably would have denied it on this one. Right. I know, I'm not... Last adjournment. I get that. And then there was, and so then he came in. I have nothing regarding an arraignment on this. I have your substitution. First thing, did she set a bond? Did she, did, when, they, when you were arraigned, did they set a bond or did let you go on a PR bond? Let me go on a PR bond. PR bond. Did she have $10, to dish? $10, I'm sorry? $10,000 bond. $10,000 $10, PR, Your Honor. Did you see it? So it looks like the request to recall the bank was denied. Correct. 
free trial of sex. So it doesn't matter if it's free or not, if you want, it still shows sex. So he wasn't arraigned on the bench warrant. Correct. There was that she adjourned to the process. They would see on the bench warrant. So you didn't go before the bench. I went in front of you. You the ones gave me a ten thousand dollar bond. Was that back originally, or was that after? That was original. No, no, we're talking about after you, after you, after that incident in May of last year when they, when they issued the warrant because they said you didn't appear. Yeah. Were you, have you seen him? Did you see anyone else other than no. him? But we kept all. Uh, I ain't seen nobody else but him. So they must have just I was set the Zoom for a whole year. They must have just set the pretrial without him ever seeing anybody. That's what it looks like. I don't know. He's trying to figure it out. Oh. Just be quiet. All right. Here's what I'll do. Because I'm not sure what happened. I will, I'll cancel the bench warrant. Set his bond $25,000 personal recognizance bond with the previous conditions that I had ordered with the standard conditions, no alcohol. Um, and he used to continue testing. Have you been testing at Community Corrections? No, I've been testing at uh, Work Health. He lives in Lansing. Lansing. He lives in Lansing. Have you been sending those results down to Community yes, Corrections? Yeah, you've been getting them? Because I don't have it. I don't have a report. So I'm assuming they're getting your, your yes, testing results. OK. And they also spent my license for failure to appear when I appeared. The only way, so I have it as a bench warrant. That was correct. They failed to appear in May of last year. Correct. When the suspense, they, they would have suspended. I get that. But the only way that I would, he's indicating he was here in the waiting room, and typically we don't have the waiting turned on. I mean, on, the, on the Zoom, that's what they had in the waiting room. Okay, were you late? No, I was. I signed in at nine a.m. That's what time I hear it was. Okay. So, the only thing that I can do, Mr. Goldstein, if sometime we'll just have to put it on our list, I'll go back and verify that. I think we still will have the recording, so we'll be able to tell whether or not he was here. I was here. Okay, we can address. Okay, I hear you, but if you're not here. Okay, you want to do it this way? If you weren't here, you want me to just to reinstate the bench warrant? No, sir. You sure? I'm positive. Oh, okay, yeah. Sure. So rather than play the game and keep saying to me you were here, I don't know. It was almost a year ago. So I can't say in my independent recollection that you were here. But we have a way of trying to check and verify that. And I'm indicating to your counsel that we will go through that effort and check. If you weren't here, your license is going to remain suspended. But if you okay. were here, then we will do what we can. That's all I can do. Okay, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Your Honor. <laughs> so, so according to JI, you know, hold on. Yeah, there are hold on. Hold on, sir. There are notes indicating on May 3rd, the yeah. defendant signed into Zoom at 12 o'clock. Yeah. At what? At 12 p.m. But his case was at 12 o'clock. I don't know what time his case was. Got it. So we have notes. I mean, we'll go back and check, but we have notes that indicate that he signed in at almost one o'clock. His case was at noon. It's not true. But I got a copy from the clerk. Okay. <laughs> I'm just telling you what our notes now indicate. We will go back and we will check the Zoom, put that on the list to check the Zoom, and we'll check it. And if you were there, then we'll deal with it. But if you weren't there, yeah, yeah. then you weren't there. I was there. Okay. I know I was here. I was here too. Okay. We can always address it on the 17th, Your Honor, but we'll get it squared away. Yeah, we will. All right, Your Honor. Okay. Take care. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard reading those clocks because they. Oh, we had. <laughs> we haven't had one because of this one yet. However, it's an arraignment. We did provide a sheriff attendant um, riser. 
That's correct. Ma'am, come up to the podium. Your name? Eternity Jackson. All right. Before we begin, who was who escorted you to the court today? Myself. Pardon? Myself. Who were you with? My grandfather. Your grandfather? Yeah. All right, sir. I realize you wanted her case called, but I'll just give this admonition. I call the cases in order as I have them by their blocks. We're not going to call this thing at nine o'clock. And I don't appreciate ever my staff being yelled at. Or you or you or you trying to send them back to pose a question to me. Well, you know what, John? Okay, y'all send out a letter at nine o'clock, all right? If y'all do so ma'am, sir. Yes, sir. It isn't even your case. So have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. I've given my admonition. That's the way that it will roll. Ms. Reiser, you have something on this case? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, the public defender did provide me with um, a proof of now there is an insurance policy for six months. <laughs> Given that um, pre arraignment, I would move to dismiss the, the charge. And you're not on the case. Ms. Jackson, you have any objection to dismiss? Mm -hmm. Case is dismissed. Thank you, ma'am. The court calls the case. People versus Bilal Howard. Mr. Reiser, on behalf of the people. Bridget Coons, on behalf of Mr. Howard. State your name for the record. Bilal Howard. Thank you, sir. Your Honor, we'd be looking to set this one up for final settlement. Jury final settlement conference will be set for June. You know, how many people have I taken into custody today? One. Just one? Yeah. There was almost two. And I tried so hard. I'm proud of me. <laughs> June 7th. 2024, Mr. Howard's like, he's not talking about me, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> he, I said, I could see him sweating. Um, June 7th, 2024, that's at 9 a.m. Jury selection, sir, will be June 10th, if necessary, 2024 at 8.30. Both of those proceedings are in person. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That's not the case of the people versus Ayanna Johnson. Bridget Coons, on behalf of Ms. Johnson, state your name for the record. Ayanna Johnson. Your Honor, um, this one also has a bond. Oh, yes, it does. Um, so there is a few uh, late tests, uh, quite a few. Um, I did speak to Ms. Johnson. She was under the impression that the test was supposed to be from 9 a.m. till 12 p.m. And that kind of does reflect on these missed tests as almost all of them, or late tests, as a, as most of them are submitted uh, between the 9 to 12, it looks like. Well, except for, no, I see what you're saying, but then on the 12th, she seemed to miss both. Like she missed two of her testing. Look on on March 12th, the 6 to 9 a.m. was missed, and then the 12 to 3 was missed, and there was no retest on that one. That same thing happened on the 17th, where the 12 to 3, there was no retest. Okay, on March 12th, I do see one was submitted at 9.34. Um, I, she gets off of work at work. Right, no, I, yeah. hold on. I just okay. want to make sure we're clear. On the 12th, there are two tests. If you look at the very first two entries, the first test, it was a 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. test. She did, they didn't, she, she didn't test until 9.34. Then... On that same date, there's a test between 12 to 3 
that one she missed entirely. I see. And didn't retest. Well, I have uh, had the opportunity to clarify the time here. Um, we anticipate no further violations. Um, after all, that she has never tested positive once for alcohol. Um, so we'd be asked that she be allowed to continue on bond and then uh, to adjourn this to allow more tests to come through um, to prove that she is a good candidate uh, going forward uh, for resolution on this case. Is she really going to be able to do this? Because if I do that, any more missed tests than she's going to go. Okay, I just need to know what times I need. I need to know the correct time. Well, they gave you the time. That's what I'm saying, though. So that's on they gave on the paper and say from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and then one from 12 to like 3 o'clock and then the other one say 9 to 12 a.m. So I okay. test, I got my alarm clock set for 9 o'clock p.m., 1.30 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. That's not right. So you're basically your alarm clock is going off a half an hour into the testing schedule. Is it? Well, I don't know. I think okay, you look, ma'am, the tests that you're missing, Miss Coombs is right. The 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. test fundamentally is the test that you're missing. Okay, so I'm just taking it too late. Yes. Okay. But that's a miss. So you got to reset your alarm maybe to 9 or 8 a.m. Yeah. Or 7. Yeah. Or 6. Yep. <laughs> Somehow or another, that 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. test, you got to get in. Okay. You, you, you're right, you do test, but some of these tests are an hour and a half, almost two hours after the end of that period. Mm. Okay. And so what I'm saying is... <sighs> I'll give you another shot, but you need to understand something. If I have another missed test, because I should really consider all of these tests positive. Okay. But if I give you that ch chance, if I have another missed test, I'm gonna go to then the I got to, yeah, I got to do what I got to do. Now, the other option is I can switch you over because of this violation. I can switch you over to a scram test. What is that? On my ankle? Yes. Why are, she, why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling. I'm just, I'm giving you, you know, normally I don't give options. I don't know why I feel so generous today. <laughs> I know, it's like unusual. Usually if I had a report like this, ma'am, I'm going to tell you, you'd be going to jail there. Right now. Okay. So what would you like to do? Take the chance that I let you go and you test on time or you want to scram test? Is that going to like dig into my ankle and like, how do that work? I don't know what that is. So I got to ask. They put it around your ankle. Uh -huh. And then if there's any alcohol consumption, we're going to know. How long I got to wear it? I guess the best answer until I say you, you don't. Hmm. I know this is hard because I can't walk it, around. No, without... it's I know fashion. Oh, yeah, I can't walk around. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. On my what do you want me to say? I'll just do the blow. I'll just, you really? Yeah, I'll do it on time. I'm gonna I'm gonna change my alarm. I can't walk around with no tether. Really? I mean, if I ain't got oh, no you choice. Could. I mean, I could, but if I got a choice, I'd rather blow. I know. Emily, your tether didn't go with any of your outfits, did it? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing that. Just... Okay, I'm sorry, Emily. Didn't mean to let that out like that. And to have no further missed tests, when did you want this adjourned out to? 
Can we have a month? And I'll adjourn this. You gonna make it a month? What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm, I'm gonna at, make it. I'm just at. Okay. I'm gonna make it. No, I'm gonna put it in the file. She said she's gonna make it. <laughs> then when you don't, if she doesn't make it, don't be begging me to do anything different. I gave the warning. Thank you. What was the date on that, Your Honor? Seriously. Sorry. May first. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. I think, though, that if you get a black outfit, the tether goes. It's okay. I'm just saying. Court recalls the case of the people versus Sierra Scott. Patrick Nine Eyes, 76343. Ms. Scott. State your name, please, Ms. Scott. Sierra Scott. Judge, so she, thank you for informing us about the bond violations, but we have, you're welcome. She, she admits that she missed them, but she has been seeing a mental health specialist to get on medicine to help with her panic, panic attacks. She's been on it for about a month. She complained last week that they were making her tired. And the reason she got on them is because she wasn't sleeping well and was having panic attacks. So that's why we believe she was missing the test because she couldn't get herself up and stuff. So just like the last person, <laughs> sure, I mean, that she won't. No counsel her. has learned. Yes. Well, usually I'm on Zoom in front of you, Judge, so. I know. <laughs> we were actually mentioning that because I've never seen, I don't think we've been in person. No. No. But, but go ahead. So I'm asking to give her another chance, asking for an German. I think we're going to get close to resolving this case by the time we come back. Like I okay. Said, I have in all seriousness. Yeah. They're they're adjusting your medication, yeah. so. Um, and to be honest, she's only been on it for about a month now. So the first right. tests and were. So, my concern is, just like well, not quite like the last person, but I can do this. But if you miss another test, we're going to have a problem. Understood. Or I can switch you to Scram. Um, I'm okay with the blowing. I'm just um, I'm just You're okay with blowing in the sober room, Your Honor. You I'm, don't want to. I'm I'm with her with the whole ankle thing because, like, if I go to work and then it just don't. I can't wear a dress if. I... Is that true? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just checking. <laughs> Let me, let's do it this way, because your circumstances are a little bit different. Okay. Um, I'll adjourn this to the 17th at 9. Then no, will that work, counsel? April 17th at 9 a.m.? Yes. Yes, Judge. Or whatever time that, you, whatever block you get it put into. Um, Defendant to have no further missed tests. All right. Um, if you're still going through the, the medication protocol, if there are missed tests, I'm going to need some documentation of something. Otherwise, I'm going to follow normally what I do. Understood, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Judge. Thank you. See you live in about two weeks. Yes, sir. Did you call Andy in? See, but I was kind. I was. Kirk called.